Hi, thanks for joining us. In this video, we will walk through an overview of Timber's Graph Explorer component. The Graph Explorer allows users to visualize and explore the underlying data as a graph, discover hidden relationships, and share insights and dependencies in a simple and intuitive manner. So let's jump in. Once we've entered the Graph Explorer, we will see the main area in the center where the data nodes appear and enable us to visualize and explore the data as a graph. We can adjust our perspective by clicking anywhere on the graph and dragging the screen to the desired spot or scrolling up or down to zoom in or out accordingly. Single nodes can be moved as well by clicking on them and dragging them. If we would like to select a number of nodes but not the entire graph, we can hold down the shift key on our keyboard and drag and highlight the desired nodes with our mouse. Lastly, we can also move the graph using the arrows on the bottom left of the graph area or zoom in and out with the plus and minus buttons on the bottom right with the ability to refocus the graph by clicking on the refocus button above the plus and minus. Once a node is clicked on, the side panel will appear with all the information regarding the chosen node, containing details such as the concept type and the concept that the chosen node belongs to. Below that, we can also see the properties and relationships of the chosen node with the ability to add them to the current exploration on the graph. On the top right of the side panel, users can click on the three horizontal dots to access additional features, including the ability to edit the node layout and design, the ability to view the node's relationship tree, and the ability to isolate the chosen node or delete it from the graph entirely. It is worth noting that when clicking anywhere on the graph away from a node, the side panel will appear presenting general information regarding the entire graph, including the number of nodes, concepts, and edges as well as the graph's relationship tree. On the top left side of the graph, users can find the node group menu, which shows the concepts that are presented on the graph and enables users to perform bulk actions for a specific node group. We will be discussing the node group menu in depth in one of our next videos. Below the graph area in the side panel is the action log, which allows users to view information about each action made in the graph explorer. This allows users to see the history, status, performance, and result time of each action. In the action log, users can also view and copy the queries behind each action. Lastly, users can download a specific action as a JSON file, or if they'd like, they can delete the log entirely. Finally, above the graph, users can find the main menu, which has many options. Among those options, users can change the knowledge graph under exploration, move to full screen mode, save a given exploration, or open a previously saved one. They can undo or redo actions made on the graph. Users can also access the graph settings from the main menu, but we will dive deeper into all the graph settings in one of our next videos. Other functions that can be found on the main menu are the filter button, which allows users to filter the graph based on actions and relationships. Users can also click and choose to fetch all the properties for the nodes on the graph, as well as click on find data connections to travel the graph using the relationship or properties of all the nodes loaded on the graph. Finally, using the main menu, users can choose to add new nodes to the graph as well as search for current data nodes using the search bar. And that's it. That wraps up our overview of the Graph Explorer. I invite you to get a deeper understanding of the Graph Explorer by watching the next videos on our YouTube channel. Please reach out to us if you have any questions at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.